What up, y'all? It's uh, Michael, known as Butters, back with you, back with you with another uh, video. Any news that comes with the Bears for now, I'm gonna try my best to uh, upload it to YouTube because I'm dealing with. Uh, because if y'all haven't been living under a rock or you guys don't watch my live streams at all. Unfortunately, I tested positive for the uh, coronavirus and stuff like that. So if you hear me coughing, you know, during this, you know, uh, you know, video, I apologize. I'll try to get through it and got to do my best to recover. So... If you guys don't know, I don't have really much to say about the Bears firing Nagy. It's not news to me. I expected it to happen. I didn't expect Pace to be fired. You know, I felt like it was kind of shocking to me because I thought they were going to keep Ryan Pace because of how good his draft uh, class was. You know, you got Justin Fields, who showed some potential this uh this season may he may not have had the best rookie season but had some flash flashes in the season uh him against uh him versus the 49ers him versus the Steelers were probably his two best games ever in the season uh third would be the bike the the Packers the second time in Lambeau Field where he uh threw uh two touchdowns at and put up 30 points uh, against um, probably a, a top 10 defense. And put up 22 against the 49ers and put up 27 against the Steelers. And those three teams combined have a top 10 defense. So, and getting, uh, drafting, uh, trading to get Tevin Jenkins, uh, which wasn't really a surprise. I predicted us to get Tevin Jenkins in the second round, but I didn't, I didn't think we would trade to get him. So, and, uh, Larry Bourne was a steal, which isn't a surprise because every fifth round pick that he, you know, picked has worked out for him. Uh, Cleo Herbert filled out pretty well when David Montgomery went down. And uh, Daz Newsome, what, uh, the, the few games he played, he showed potential as well. And uh, the D, uh, the, and uh, Thomas Graham Jr. has also worked out pretty well when he filled in for Jalen Johnson when he had the COVID, when he tested positive for COVID. And uh, Chris Tanya um, has also filled out pretty well when uh, Eddie Goldman was doing with an injury and he missed like the three out of the first three games. He uh, was a pretty good run stopper and stuff and stuff like that. So I thought we were going to keep Ryan Pace specifically because he has hit well on the draft class this year, but, you know, it is what it is. They're going to have to be looking for a new GM. And as far as my future goes, because, like I told you guys before, I'm dealing with, uh, you know, COVID issues because I told you guys that I tested positive for COVID. As far as for my future goes with, uh, let me get to the future with me on, on YTC's, Fizz Vegas, and uh, all the others. So.